Welcome to the Daily Marvelite, uh, Hidden the Shelves this week. Uh, this is the uh, January um, 16th edition. So we'll be looking at the uh, some of the Marvel comics that you should uh, take a look at or you should get. As you know, there's a lot of comics that uh, come out every week and basically we're going to be focusing on the ones that deserve to be focused on. So first of all, we're going to start with Avengers Assemble, uh, number 11. The Avengers Assemble series came out around the time the movie came out, which is last year. And the whole purpose of the series was to familiarize, uh, well not really to familiarize, but to actually uh, get the fans from the movies to be able to uh, read the Avengers comics. The lineup uh, was pretty much the same as in the movies for the first arc from uh, from the first from number one to number uh, uh, nine to, to number eight. I'm sorry, and uh, the new story and the first story arc was not that good. It was uh, you know it was all over the place. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, w were in it. Uh, the story was not very coherent. So enter Marvel now and the new relaunch of most of Marvel. Comics Avengers Assemble got a new team. Uh, the writer is uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick, and the writer is doing an excellent job in the second arc. Uh, the the story focused more the first this this arc focused more on Bruce Banner, uh, A.K.A. the Hulk and Iron Man, and the uh, chemistry that these two characters had in the movie is present within the book. Now Marvel is saying that this book is within continuity but when you read it you don't really feel that way however it's still a very good book and issue 11 is hidden uh, stores today and you should check it out the all new X-Men is definitely one of the best Marvel Now uh, titles the, s the book written by uh, uh, Bendis uh, the, the book's premise is the five original X-Men brought back from the past to witness what happened during the events of Avengers vs. X-Men. So, uh, young Cy Cyclops, Jean Grey, uh, Hank McCoy, Iceman and Angel uh, are in the prison day and, and seeing what Scott did, uh, spoiler alert again, when he killed uh, Professor Charles Xavier. And uh, now the book is very interesting. Uh, its uh, last issue, which was number five, uh, did confirm that the these X-Men are here for the long run so they're gonna be staying in the present uh, Kitty Pride as we can see here in the cover will be will have the role of Charles Xavier in a way she will be uh, taking care of or controlling or keeping an eye basically on the original five X-Men now again the sixth issue is hidden shops today and it, you definitely need to check this out the indestructible Hulk is the uh, current Marvel Now relaunch of the Hulk. Uh, the book is really good, written by Mark Waid. Uh, the whole premise is Hulk is now an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, uh, as you can see, the gears that he has on his body allows S.H.I.E.L.D. to actually uh, not control him, but try to calm him down in case he goes uh, out of control. Uh, the book is, the first two issues were really good and we're really looking forward uh, to the third one that is hidden shelves today. The Avenging Spider-Man is number 16 is the first issue of the series that actually features uh, Doc Ock, the Superior Spider-Man. Now in this issue, Doc Ock or Superior Spider-Man, whatever you want to call it, will be uh, teaming up with the X-Men. Uh, some previews showed that Wolverine is going to be suspicious uh, of the new Spider-Man. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see. We'll give it a try and see how, how it turns out. Now again, Superior Spider-Man, the whole premise is Doc Ock is now living uh, inside Peter's body. So Peter apparently is dead, but again, at the first Superior Spider-Man issue, it showed that his consciousness or his soul, whatever you want to call it, is still inside uh, his body. And and you get the idea that this is not going to be for in for the long run. So uh, sooner or later, Peter Parker is going to be back as the Spider-Man. The New Avengers uh, second issue is hidden shelves today as well. Uh, this book mainly f mainly uh, focused on the Illuminati. Uh, the leader of the New Avengers appears to be uh, Black Panther. Now the first issue was 
quite good. Uh, did know for a lot, but it, it's an interesting premise. We're li really looking forward to what the second issue is going to offer to us. Now, again, the book is written by Hickman, who's doing a terrific job with the uh, Avengers uh, Marvel Now uh, title. Another book that I'm look really looking forward to see or to read is the Ultim Ultimate Comics Iron Man number four. Now, this is a new series based again on the Ultimate uh, Tony Stark, the Ultimate Universe. Uh, the whole series is this whole arc is uh, has uh, the purpose of actually um, introducing the Mandarin to the Ultimate Universe. Now, as you know, the, Ma the Mandarin is going to be the main villain of the Iron Man three movie. And this m this comic book series is actually introducing the character in the Ultimate Universe. The first three issues were interesting. I wouldn't say they were really good, but they were still interesting and a good read. So I'm really looking forward to this fourth one. Daredevil number 22 also features uh, Superior Spider-Man. Uh, it seems that we're going to be seeing Superior Spider-Man quite a lot in different books. Uh, maybe it's Marvel's attempt to get us used to the fact that this new Spider-Man is none other than... Dr. Octopus. Now in Daredevil number 22, the uh, vigilante known as Daredevil, Matt Murdock, is going to be uh, teaming up with the Superior Spider-Man. A new book is coming to the Marvel Now, and the new Marvel Now relaunch again. This time is Wolverine. This title, uh, this book is titled The Savage Wolverine, and the whole premise is Wolverine is going to be in the Savage Land for quite some time. Uh, now, I'm not sure uh, if this book is going to be good or not. I have my doubt, really, because of the whole premise. And again, w uh, we see Wolverine in a lot of... We see him in all new X-Men. and, and uh, So I'm not, I'm not sure how it's going to work in terms of continuity, which is a big problem that is happening for Marvel Now titles. While most of the books are good, they don't seem that in, in, they're in the same continuity. Like, you have Avengers, Avengers Assemble. Uh, even though Marvel, they said, in the same continuity, they... they totally feel that they're not in uh, the same world so uh, we'll wait and see uh, we'll be checking out Savage Wolverine number one and we'll let you know how it turns out now this is pretty much it for this week's edition of Hitting the Shelf this week uh, this is your host Nabil aka Struggler uh, remember to get your latest Marvel news at www.dailymarvelite.com please subscribe like and follow us on Twitter as well